In this video, I'm using artificial intelligence to build a game. Now you're gonna wanna watch to the end because the results are mind blowing. Now I've worked on games in the past. My most recent one being a virtual reality wave based game where you shoot the enemies, a new wave spawns in. I had a lot of fun creating that. But this was my first time programming with artificial intelligence. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So the first thing we needed to do was create a controller for the player. So we created a capsule, which would be our player and some land for it to walk on. Then simply ask the AI to generate a script to control the player. Write me a C sharp unity script to control a character in 3D. Let's see if that works. It's thinking. Sure. Okay. Here's a basic C sharp script that you can attach to a 3D character in unity. It creates the script. We copy and paste, and we definitely ran into some issues. Okay, we're gonna click play, and we should be able to control our character. And there we have it. Oh, he's spinning. Okay, all right, no, no, no. <laughs> No, for the first script of the video. Now, I thought it was over. I thought, well, it's not very good, is it? I'm not going to be able to make a video out of this. So I simply asked it to create another script for me, and it worked. We've got no errors, and let's see if it works. And there we have it. We have a moving working character. I don't know what happened there, and he just fell over. Okay, but he moves, it works. So my next task was to ask it if it could create me a script that would allow the camera to follow the player, and it kind of worked. And we click play. Oh, okay, we've got some movement, but it, I, um, and we've fallen over, <laughs> okay. It's a start. I mean, it is working. So just had to adjust some things here and there, like some public variables that it provided. It is. There we go. We have a working camera follow. And our character's fallen over, and that's fine. It even had an option to increase the camera's smoothness. The camera's kind of like shaking, though. Let's call the smoothness one. Yeah, yeah, that is exactly what we needed to do. And if we fall off... Oh, we can't fall off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fair enough. And it worked perfectly. So with that fully working, we moved on to the next section. Now, what is a video game without an enemy? So we went to chat GPT, asked it to create a script that allows an enemy to follow the player. We copied and pasted the code. Then we created another capsule and made it red this time. Blue for good, red for bad. Red for red bad and we also lowered the speed so it's not as fast as our character we want it to be slower and in what took about five minutes the thing worked perfectly so now if we click play this should work i think yeah and there we go it's following us we have a working enemy a moving character and it is chasing us at a slower speed this is nice. So next it was time for the player health. I think you're starting to get the idea here. Asked it to create a health script for us. We then copied and pasted the script. Test if it worked and it did. Player health script. Write a C sharp script for Unity to give our player health. I think that will do, let's go. Sure, here's a basic script for a Unity player's health. Okay, <laughs> look at this, it's already going. Unity and just copy and paste it. So the starting health is 100. So if we click play, this zero should automatically bring us back up to 100. Yeah, so we're automatically on 100. So we're starting to get some basics down and next was the enemy damage. We want the enemy to do damage to the player. The idea is if the enemy collides with our player, then we're going to take damage. So we went straight to chat GTP, asked it to create us a script that causes the enemy to do damage to the player. Write us a C sharp script for unity for enemy to do damage to player. Okay, I think that should work. Sure, here's a C sharp script that could be used in Unity to make an enemy do damage to a player. Okay, so it's just putting it direct on collision enter. Yes, 
That's what we need. So when they collide, it's gonna make us lose it. And it worked perfectly. It should work. See in the bottom right, health says 100. Current health is 100. Now if he touches us, we should lose 20 health. Oh, it works. It actually works. Look, we're losing health. Boom. We made a minor adjustment. We made it so that if the current health of the player gets to zero, then the game will restart. It was one line of code. And that is the most input I have put in this whole video. So what we need to do is just adjust that script a little bit. The idea is if the current health is equal to zero, then the character dies. But we then need it to say scene manager dot load scene sample scene. Okay, so now should just restart the whole game. So, boom. And it works. <laughs> this is great. So next up, I wanted to display the health on the screen, on the user interface, and not just in the settings. Now, I struggled to get it to write me what I wanted. I wanted a slider bar. Now it wrote me the code for it, but it just wasn't what we were looking for. So we got it to write another one, and it was more what we were looking for, but it had crazy errors. Now I could have gone in and just corrected these things, but the whole point of this video is I want AI to build it for us. So I took a different approach and asked it if it could create me a text version and not just a slider bar. So it will display on the screen, your health is 100, your health is 80, your health is 60, and it did it. It worked perfectly. When he touches us, it should say 80. Yes, yes, it works. 60 and restart the game. <laughs> Wow. So then we moved on to the enemy's health and we asked ChatGPT to write it. We copied and pasted the script. It was very similar to our player's health and it worked. So he now has a health script. So the second the game starts, it should go straight to 100 his current health. Yep, fantastic. So now that the enemy has health, we want our player to do damage to the enemy. So we had to create some sort of weapon. It's thinking about it. <laughs> if this actually works, it's going a bit slower on this one, but it's okay. Sphere. And we're going to make this pretty small. That looks good. And we're going to create empty. And this empty is where the bullet will shoot from on our character. Bullet spawn. So we're going to take the bullet. Go back to assets. We're gonna make it a prefab. The actual projectile is the bullet, which is a game object. Projectile spawn point, we have that. So it should work. So if I click play, it's left click button to shoot. It's, <laughs> oh no, our character's falling again. <laughs> it's, it's not working. We're just spawning balls. So at least it's spawning it. It's just not exactly shooting it. And I ran into some problems and I was blaming the code. I thought chat GPT has done it wrong again. But it turns out, and don't tell anyone, I was the reason it didn't work. I forgot to put gravity or a rigid body on the bullet. So it would just freeze in the sky. Every time we shot it, it would create the ball. It would create the bullet and just freeze. So I corrected my issues and the game worked. Hang on a sec. I think I've made a mistake. Actually, I think chat GTP was innocent here. I haven't added a rigid body to the bullet. So I think chat GPT wins again. There we go. Now we did have another problem. Where's the enemy going? The, en <laughs> the enemy's just going on it. Come back here. The sheer force of the bullet was pushing the enemy further away and the enemy was floating in the sky it wasn't falling off the map but every time we shot a bullet at it it would push the enemy the opposite direction because of how force works yeah the second we shoot the enemy the second we shoot the enemy they go the opposite direction and our character fell again bruh like this yeah look you see he's trying to follow us but we've just put so much force against him and we fell over <laughs> Look, we're pushing him so much. 
he's really trying to follow us, but we're sending him in the opposite direction. So to fix that, I simply increased the mass of the enemy so it had more gravity and it worked. So now that we shot bullets and we had a weapon, I wanted the weapon to actually do some damage. And I think this was the most simple part of the whole script. So we asked ChatGPT to write the script. I had to create an enemy tag and apply that tag to the enemy. Let's see if this works. Now, after shooting two bullets at the enemy, it should kill him. No? And it didn't work. But not because of chat GPT, because I messed up again. I forgot to click use trigger. So after putting it correctly, it worked. And there we go. We can now shoot our enemies. It felt empty. We needed more enemies. So we created an enemy spawner using chat GTP. So we asked it to create a spawner. It gave us the code. We copied and pasted it. It worked. However, it would only spawn the enemies. Now the enemies wouldn't follow the player. It should now just keep spawning enemies. But those enemies aren't moving <laughs> at all. They're like popping up from the ground. Ah, see, so here's our issue. When it is spawning the enemy, it is not saying that we are the target. You have to drag the player into the target. But it doesn't work with prefabs. We went to chat GTP. We asked for the very specific script and I was very anxious to see if it would work. And to my surprise, it worked. Follow any object with the pl player tag. Now, if this works, I'm gonna be very impressed. So not only have we said what the script needs to do, we've specified a very specific version of how we want the script to work. There's no shot this works with the player tag player. It's actually working. It's actually working. I can't believe this. I, I'm, in, I'm in disbelief that this is working. I can't believe it. So if we go to Unity, there shouldn't be any errors. What? Look, you can even change what tag it's searching for. I was mind blown. The level of precision of what we asked for and what it delivered was exactly what we asked for and it delivered. So if we click play, <laughs> it's fully working. Only if we get close enough. So they're kind of like zombies. If you alert them, then they're gonna come for you. This is insane. I can't believe this is real. Oh, okay, okay, they're spawning anywhere. And we can't fire lots of bullets because we've got a set amount that we can fire at a time. And that is how I asked artificial intelligence to write me a video game. Now the whole recording was two hours, so I've had to trim this down and I could have kept going forever and ever. But I am so impressed with how well this performed. And it blew my expectations out of the water. So if you want to see a part two or you want to see some other AI related things to game development or making music, then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. This isn't my normal type of content, but if it does well, I will make another one. I really enjoyed this and it was a great experiment. But I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your days. Much love and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.